So right now it looks like Jack is situating the camera in the eighth floor hallway. There's been a lot of activity there, especially with a man roaming the halls. How's that camera looking? It looks perfect. Groovy. We have an angle on Jack's room. Last night he was hearing noises. That's a good camera angle. We have the basement where there's been a man that's been seen. We have the roof in case we see any activity up there. We have the second floor staircase where there's been a male apparition scene. And we have my bedroom because in this room there's been a ton of reports of a male apparition standing at the foot of the bed. All right, we begin. So tonight we're gonna bring in our psychic, Sarah Lemos, and she's gonna do a complete walkthrough. We're gonna take her to all the hot spots, and I'm really hoping that she can uncover some of the undocumented deaths that have occurred here, especially on the upper floors. This one makes me super nervous. Really? Yeah. Why? Let's just put it this way. I don't wanna be jumped or bumped off the top of this thing. Okay. Ooh. All right, well, should we head on in? I'm gonna lock the door. I'm very excited to work with Sarah. She doesn't know where she is. She doesn't know what she's investigating. What are you vibing? So there's a masculine energy that keeps telling me to come on up. I don't trust the masculine energy. Then additional to that, um, something is calling me down. All right, let's go to the basement then. Yep, okay. OK. Uh, where are you drawn to? We need to go back here. OK. Something's running around here. It's moving quickly. It doesn't want to be seen. It gets seen, but it doesn't want to be seen. Is this a human energy or? Yeah. And it feels very stuck. Well, I guess this would be definitely also somewhere I would check. Now, the energy I get is a masculine energy that likes to control everything. Picking up on anything intelligent? The man? Yeah. Intelligent? Yeah, like this is something that would communicate. Oh, yeah. OK. Sarah Lemos, um, she came in and right off the bat was picking up on stuff. She made it seem like a lot of these spirits are, are willing to get a little more physical, as we've been kind of told, so. It's kind of interesting. The female that's here that feels stuck, that one I'm not sure yet, because mm. she's so spastic. She's the energy that's moving around really, really fast. Are you picking up on an age? I'm going to say 18 to 23. She's a younger person, yeah. somebody that would have worked here, somebody that would have stayed here. People who have seen the woman have informed me, they're like, I just get the most evil feeling. People have described her as like wearing like Victorian style like clothing. Since you are feeling like this thing is calling you up, should we go check out the roof? Please. I heard jump or bump. So you think that someone jumped? Yes. Bump would be me tossing you, and a jump would be I chose to go. Right. Hmm. Interesting. It seems that there are all sorts of really fast-moving entities at this location. I mean, it's really making me eager to want to investigate more. May I? Yeah. Did you experience anything back here? Have you heard anything back no, here? No, I haven't. So tonight should be fun. OK. Um, I would watch for um, fog on the glass up okay. here. And do we know if somebody died here in this room? I don't know. We don't okay. know specifics on what happened in what room. OK. I was really curious to see what Sarah picked up in my room. And she kept looking towards the bathtub. And from Katrina's research, we have a confirmed death of a man that shot himself in the bathtub. So all right, this hotel is called the Padre. OK and it has been here since 1928. As far as deaths go, we know of two confirmed suicides from jumping off the roof. We know uh, of allegedly someone um, shooting themselves in a bathtub. 
That's why I was so drawn to the damn bathtub. I should have so said that something. that was in my room. Absolutely. freaking lootly hmm. So, uh, yeah, thank you. Good luck, guys. Thanks. Will do. Thank you. All right. So we are going to start in the basement. We will work our way up. Yes. Contact the male presence. Gonna to the basement and we're gonna get possessed by a demon. Um, I might as well set up the room pod okay. too. My name's Jack. I'm Heather. We don't mean to harm. We just want to document. We just want to prove to everyone else that you're real. We believe you're here. Can you come and touch this green light? Okay. Is something in the basement with us right now? Can you make that device? Light up again, you just did it. A lot of the people that work here say they see you running up and down this hallway in white. Can you show yourself to us? You like to mess with them, so mess with us. What? Whoa. What's going on with those curtains? That has to be the win. That's aggressive, though. Is there a door open? There's no, like, air source right here that would... That was weird. Are you watching us? They're not moving so at all That's so weird. Now. Is there someone or something in the kitchen with us? Make those curtains flap again. When I walked through there, I didn't feel any kind of like air source hitting me. I think, here's an idea. I think we should go back to HQ. Mm -hmm. One of us sit at the monitor, and each of us take a turn going up now by ourselves. OK. Yeah, let's try it. Is my REM pod going off? Whoa, why did that oh, just... Oh, it's, it's really going off. Look, it's going... Holy What? <gasps> what the? 